What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys step by step how to make a cartoon head like always. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this thing, man. First thing we finna do, drag our picture. Drag the picture we using. My whole shift. So I can fit it on my page. I'm trying to fit it inside my little artboard. I bet. Drop the opacity down. I say that's good about right there. Lock that layer. Come down here, create a new layer. And now what you want to do, let me make sure I got anything. All right, let me, let me drag this up just a little bit, man. Let me drag the display stream up, man. Make sure. Make sure we ain't hiding the buttons. All right, there we go. I like it right there. All right, I done created me a new layer. I'm gonna come up here and set my pressure on my brush. Now you cannot get this option. You can't get the pressure option if you ain't using a digital art tablet. I gotta make sure I say that on all my videos because I know somebody gonna ask me still. You know what I'm saying? Make my breast size a little bigger to a two point. What we finna do? So man made some, some super duper clean lines, man. That's all we gotta do. Okay. Something like that. Back a one point, we'll do a one point. What we finna do, we're just trying to make our make us some nice, make us some nice clean lines. Make your line work smooth as possible. So your picture can come out super dope. Let's see, bring this over. Like that. Okay. Bring this over like this. step back and just to see how the line work looking okay. go ahead and do his eyes real quick like this you gotta make sure you closing your closing your lines off too so you won't have no problems it's time to do the coloring process. I put a bag on his eye right there. Like that. You know what I'm saying, man? Already looking dope. Okay. Everything 
can show up, man. I like to have my line work looking clean as possible. to a two point let's go ahead and close his neck off Gotta have a drip on that man. Okay. Now, that's it. Let me go to my pencil tool. Make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look like this. Hit OK. Move this color black to the top. Make sure the bottom one is locked so we can use the pencil tool as a fill tool. So all you do is you just draw you draw the path that you want the uh, color to fill in. So I'm drawing out the, the path for my color black to get filled in. You know what I'm saying? You just draw it out. And I use the pencil tool to do my shading as well. Just like that, me. some texture. Get out some texture right there. Okay. Go ahead. Get this. Nice little texture. See that pencil tool come in handy. And pretty much the only tools I use is the uh, brush tool and my 
pencil tool to make all my work. Texture of these dreads. Okay, cool. What we gonna do? I'll feel this one in. Let's make a little rough on the outside. Okay, cool. Still bad, see what we looking like, alright? Everything looking dope. Consistency going for the dreads.
close this, close this area off. this opacity of the sun on this picture and so you can see all the little details we need to add okay also we go ahead and put the 3d behind the drip so i won't forget I'm a mama, daddy. I'm a lawyer, daddy. I love him like a daddy.
put a lot of time into the to the line work. Just so the picture can come out extra dope. Feel. Let me go back to my um, brush tool. So we can drop finish on the T5. As you can see, it's coming together, man. Council two.
Okay. Go back to my my, my brush tool. Okay, now that I'm finished, I'm finna highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, then I'm finna go to merge on my pathfinder to make all my lines become one. Now I'm finna make a copy of my line work, lock the top copy, go to my swatch library menu, go, go to other library, and now I'm finna find my skin tone palette on my desktop and double click it so I can add it into my swatches. Now we about to go dang. Go crazy, man. Let's see what skin tone I'm gonna use. Color, I'm gonna right click the color, go to arrange and send to back, highlight everything, and click merge so the color can become one with my line work. And after that, you want to right click the color, go to isolate select group so every area that's closed off is its own group. So I'm gonna click this outer color, 
and delete it. Also, while I'm on that, I'm gonna come over here to my line work layer with the color on it. Hit this drop down menu twice and scroll down to my last black line work. I'm gonna lock all my black lines. top to unlock and close that back so now I'm going to select all this hair and isolate select group so to only select the areas I'm choosing color and go to color harmony select the brown make this a little darker like that okay cool that got, got a nice looking texture to it and let's select this grill Select, select the group. I locked out my black line so I ain't got to worry about making a mistake and selecting the black line work. Make this grill real quick. the base colors down make a copy of the color layer turn the eye off on the bottom color layer and lock it go to the color layer in the center and we just gonna delete the skin tone out of this layer so isolate select group and we're only gonna delete the skin tone color skin tone out of that layer so I'm gonna bring my color layer back I'm gonna lock both of these layers create a new layer and put it in between those two and now we finna start this shading process so go to my pencil tool and I'm looking at my original photo we're gonna start adding the tone I like to go from light to dark. Sometimes I go from dark to light. It just depends. Depends on what mood I'm in. Okay. Um, bring this tone over like this. Then we're gonna bring it back. Back. 
it just took a lot of practice for me to get real good at doing shading. So if you try and get better at doing your, your shadows and your shading, all you gotta do is practice, man. The more you practice, the doper you will get. Bring this up. I'm just looking at my picture, my reference photo. Bring this up like that. Bring this on around. Look like this. And then just come on like that. Go ahead and close this off like that. 
gotta do the shadows on his neck. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to go back and add some touches. I thought I added in more different shades and tones. So we done with this tone for now. Let's create a new layer. Go a little darker. Color balance CNYK preview.
man. Click merge. Now what I want to do, I'm going to make that color just a color harmony. This color just a little darker. Saying. This could be right 
is so Like that. See, I like to go back and forth once I got a lot of my tones placed where they need to be. And I start seeing, start seeing things a little better. Okay. We can bring this shadow on up. Just like that. Feel me? Just like that, man. Okay. Pull this tone a little further out. So 
で Say this too. I always want to make sure, make sure you stop somewhere to say you work. Gonna make this a little darker. So let's go to color, adjust color balance.
Highlight layer or the light reflect. City down. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Now what we're gonna do? Let's go to the layer. Right under the line work. 
the top line work. Let's do some shadows in his eyes. Shadows in his eyes. Let's do the uh, shadows in his lips. Let's see. No, it's too dark. Way too dark. Too bright. Now what we need to do, we need to make some highlights on this gold, some shadows. Create me one more, one more layer of this gold. Just got down.
gonna do. You got the color red. Go um just add a little add to this tattoo. See me. Um, let me go to my gradient brush. Click this. Select this. Delete these two on the edges. Select the one in the center. Put it closer. Put these a little closer. That black, make that black. Go to my brush tool. So we can add some texture right here. And there you have it, you guys. How to make a goddamn cartoon head, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.